Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, it's been a little while since I posted another vid. Uh, reasons are pretty much because I have been kind of busy lately. Uh, however, I am bringing something new to the table that I wanted to try out, and uh, that a few others have been suggesting me to do. I realized that pretty much, you know, uh, most of the time I just do battling vids and PO lives, but I thought it might be cool um, to kind of help out anyone that was trying to get better at battling or making teams and stuff like that. Uh, therefore, I have decided to start a team building series to provide a tutorial to building teams of different strategies and playstyles. Uh, I figured uh, that a team building series would kind of help those trying to improve their team building skills while also giving an insight to my thought process uh, when I do team build on my own. Uh, for now though, uh, this series, um, it isn't final uh, because I would like to know what all of you think. Uh, about this. If you guys um, don't think it'll be useful or helpful anyway, uh, I'll just keep continuing PO lives and battle bits. But if this is something that you guys would be interested in, um, you know, just keep up the positive support as usual. And yeah, this will stay. Uh, but uh, keep in mind, everyone has their own ways of doing things uh, when team building. But uh, yeah, today I'll be sharing my way of, uh, that I usually do it. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, Anyways, uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to build an effective bulky offense team. Um, why am I starting with bulky offense? It's mainly what I use. Um, I've, a lot of a lot of uh, the metagame uh, nowadays has bulky offense teams. A lot of the Pokemon uh, that are used. I mean, there's there's a lot of offense uh, going out in the XYOU metagame. Um, but when I think of bulky offense, uh, I think of <laughs> huge tanks of destruction. You know, Pokemon that can take hits, uh, be good at dealing a lot of damage to an opponent, um, and you know, generally can switch pretty safely on a move while doing good damage. Uh, so what I usually do once I know what kind of team style or strategy that I'm doing, I pick a Pokemon to build the team around. Um, so for this team, I need something that is capable of switching in to take hits while being a pretty good Pokemon offensively. Uh, so I'm gonna go with um, let's see, Mega Venusaur. How about that? Uh, just because I've never really built a team with him before. Uh, so let us get a Venusaur. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be using a pretty bulky offensive Venusaur for this team. Um, gonna give it some defense and some special attack. Uh, give it a modest nature. If you guys want to kind of like, if you guys are having trouble knowing how to EV your Pokemon and stuff, uh, my best bet, uh, my best suggestion would be to uh, uh, find yourself a damage calculator. You know, if there's a specific Pokemon on your team that's a threat and you want to see how much damage or something that the Pokemon that you're EVing is going to take from a specific Pokemon, um, using a damage calculator is pretty useful because you know you can find the precise amount of EVs that you need um, in order to take a specific am amount of damage. So uh, with the way I have it right now, um, it's pretty good at taking physical hits as well as doing some uh, decent, pretty decent amount of special attack. Um, it can switch in pretty well on Azumarill. Uh, I think Giga Drain, uh, let's uh, add the moves real quick first, uh, let's Sleep Powder. Um, sleep Powder is really good, uh, it will put threats to sleep that I really can't kill with Venusaur. Uh, Synthesis to heal, uh, Giga Drain, and Sludge Bomb, which are its two main stab moves. Um, I think with its current special attack, it, it, I think, um, it's just a fun fact, it should be able to break, uh, in case if a Mega Mawile subs on you, for example, it can break that, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty good offensively, as you can see. Um, if you want to know what's a good Pokemon for a bulky offensive team, um, what I usually do is, like, if, for example, if you're new to new to the team builder, you could take a look here at the um, at these uh, bars, at these uh, rows of uh, stats, stat bars, or whatever. Um, you can take a look, and you can see that, you know, if you see it. For me personally, if I see like a HP, defense, special attack, and special defense at least over 80, uh, I I'd say that it could probably stand a chance at being um, on a bulky offensive team. Um, so like, you can take a look. Just scrolling down, uh, 
These are different Pokemon, have different kinds of stats. Uh, Nidoqueen would be pretty good on a bulky offensive team. Uh, maybe. Um, I mean, it's, it's totally up to... Totally up to you. Like, something like, for example, uh... Let's see here. Uh... <laughs> something like... What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Mmm... Jinx, for example. Jinx! Uh, um, look at that piss-poor defense. I, I wouldn't say that would go on a bulky offensive team. So yeah, it's just an example of a Pokemon that, uh, you know, if you're building a bulky offensive team, what, what kind of Pokemon would fit on it? But um, yeah, Venusaur uh, is what we're building around, so um, so yeah, now uh, with any good team building, you need to make sure that your teammates have good synergy with one another. And what synergy means is that every Pokemon has a type disadvantage, uh, obviously, and for every type disadvantage, there should be another Pokemon on your team that's able to cover that weakness. Uh, for example, we have Mega Venusaur. And um, since Mega Venusaur has the ability Thick Fat, uh, Fire and Ice type moves do neutral damage. So, uh, therefore, its two main weaknesses are fi uh, Flying and Psychic type moves. Now, uh, when we think Flying for this generation, you know, stuff like Talonflame comes to mind. Uh, so, we definitely need a Pokemon for that. Um, bulky offensive teams also need to keep Pokemon that have Stealth Rocks so that the opponent's team can wear down after switching back and forth between uh, Pokemon after Pokemon. So the best Pokemon that I know uh, to be able to resist flying type moves and deal stealth rocks is uh, Rhyperior. Uh, we can take a look at Rhyperior. Um, note that, uh, keep in mind that even though it might have not so good of a special defense, EVs can for sure make up for that. So. Uh, if you take a look at it, it has really good defense, attack, and HP. Um, you know, and you know, Rhyperior is really good overall uh, in this metagame because, especially against Talonflame, because it can take the fire and the flying type moves both, um, and deal stealth rocks, which is really good. So, yeah, we're gonna add Rhyperior right now. Um, gonna give it some uh, standard bulky EVs, uh, 240 HP, 16 attack. Uh, with Adamant Nature, and the rest is special defense. And why? Because we want to make up for its piss poor special defense. Uh, I wouldn't really say piss poor because, you know, it just jumped up to 244, um, 207 with uh, 244 EVs. So uh, now it can take some pretty good hits. It can live, uh, what, two, it can live a flash cannon from uh, max special attack um, Aegis Slash. Uh, so that's pretty good. And yeah, we're going to give it leftovers. Uh, to uh, heal up after some residual damage. And yeah, so the moves are going to be Stealth Rock, Earthquake, uh, Earthquake, uh, Ground and Rock, so stab moves, Rock Blast, um, Breaks through uh, Substitutes of certain Pokemon or whatever, or Breaks Focus Ashen. And uh, Dragon Tail, uh, because, you know, it's always good to have a Pokemon that could shuffle your opposing teams. Uh, give it the ability Solid Rock. Oh, also for Venusaur, we're going to give it Chlorophyll, because just in case we have um, faced any Mega Charizard Y teams, um, and if we haven't Mega Evolved yet, you know, Venusaur will be double speed, so 400 uh, in the sunlight. So yeah, it's pretty good. Um, Alright, yeah, we got our Rhyperior here now. Give it a hornier horn. Gender difference. <laughs> uh, Alright, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so yeah, uh, we got Rhyperior. Um... Uh, yeah, alright, so, um, on bulky offensive teams, um, uh, you really only need one layer of hazards. Uh, and Stealth Rocks is by far the best, in my opinion, for bulky offensive teams. Because it's always good to, you know, weaken, uh, Pokemon over time, especially the flying types. And, you know, Mega Charizard Y and Talonflame and stuff, or, you see them a lot. Uh, but, you know, now Rhyperior is very bulky. Uh, it has, uh, really good synergy with Venusaur. Uh, the reason being is because Venusaur can take water f uh, fighting and grass hits uh, that Rhyperior can't handle, while Rhyperior can take the flying hits that Venusaur doesn't like. Uh, it's a great Talonflame counter because it resists both fire and flying, like I said before. Uh, it sets up good rocks and has good offensive and defensive potential. Um, Alright, cool. Uh, now remember, uh, when team building, you want to keep a sharp eye out on what, you, on what Pokemon you have so far and what your current threats are. Uh, so that when you keep adding member after member to your team, 
you need to be able to cover any holes the team, ha the team has. Uh, and by holes, I mean weaknesses as well as threats. Uh, think of it like a Sudoku puzzle, for instance, you know, for anyone who's ever played that before. You gotta keep fitting it together, and then, uh, like at the end, um, you know, you gotta make sure everything is where it should be. Um, Alright, so now that we built the team around Mega Venusaur, we need something to take psychic type hits, and perhaps, you know, a Pokemon that can take ice hits as well. Uh, since Rhyperior is weak to ice, and we don't really have anything um, yet that can switch out on that, uh, switch into that. So uh, let's think. Um, <laughs> all right, how about Aegislash? Aegislash is one of my favorite Pokemon uh, of all time, as you guys probably know. So let's add him. Aegislash can take Psychic and Ice because he's a uh, Steel and Ghost both. Uh, mainly the Steel type is what helps, uh, and it takes Dragon moves too, which is great. Um, so yeah, I mean, Aegislash is my favorite Pokemon of all time. Uh, I'm um, going to make him really cool and use my favorite Spooky Plague set. Um, let me just add the EVs real quick. Ash Nature, 160 to outspeed, uh, stuff like Tyranitar and other Aegislash. Um, give it... Uh, 96 HP and the rest of attack. Uh, I think this much attack should be able to one hit KO Gengar uh, and do a, a bunch of damage with the uh, Shadow Ball Shadow Sneak combination, uh, which I'm about to show you. Uh, so, spooky play. And we're gonna add King Shield, of course, because definitely, uh, pretty much on every Aegislash, you need King Shield uh, in order to get back into your. Uh, defensive form. This is why Aegislash is really good for a bulky offensive team because it has the defensive capability with uh, being in its shield form. While it's when you attack and stuff, it you know it goes into its offensive form. So this is one of my favorite Pokemon to use uh, of all time. So all right, so for moves we're gonna have Shadow Ball. Uh, that sneak first, and then Shadow Ball, and then. Hmm, I'd, I'd go with Flash Cannon, you know, it's it's really, the last move is up to you, you can go with Secret Sword, Iron Head, um, what do you got, Head Smash? <laughs> Head Smash is not a bad idea for Mandibus, but, you know. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go with Flash Cannon, uh, just because, um, Stab Move and has great, really good special attacks, so. Uh, yeah, alright, cool, um, uh, so yeah, this is a special Ego Slash of mine that I've been using on a lot of my teams, uh, which has been pretty effective. Uh, now, taking a look at the team, we gotta examine the threats that we have so far. Uh, I could see other Aegislash being a potential problem, maybe Bisharp, Ma uh, Mamoswine, uh, etc. You know, we only have three Pokemon so far, there's, so there's obviously gonna be a lot of threats, but I feel like a good Pokemon to add for this team would be Assault Vest Conculter, as it is able to beat all of these Pokemon, as well as um, help against annoying stuff such as stall teams. Uh, because of the fact that it gets a move called knockoff, which is really good in this generation because of the buff that it gets, and because you know uh, it does more damage when you use it when uh, opponent's Pokemon has an item, and yeah, because what we have so far is pretty weak against all teams, don't you think? But yeah, let's add uh, Um Hmm, let's think of the EVs. Alright, so we're gonna give it maximum attack, of course. Um, with uh, Adamant Nature. Um, assault Vest is really good. Uh, for those of you who don't know what it is, um, Assault Vest is an item that will boost your special defense by. I forget how much, but uh, I don't know, maybe 1.5? Maybe? Uh, but I don't know. It, it boosts it a lot, so. Um, you'll be able to switch in um, on special moves, for example, Rotom, uh, Aegislash. Bisharp for sure, because um, uh, Conkolder is a check slash counter to that, um, which is really good. Uh, and I mean, it's a really, really annoying Pokemon overall, and really fun to use. Uh, Drain Punch, Mac Punch, Knock Off for sure. These two are good. Mac Mach is uh, good for uh, priority uh, against faster threats. Um, such as um, anything you need to kill off, uh, anything weakened that you need to kill off. Drain Punch is of course necessary. Uh, last one, mm, probably Ice Punch, I'd say, because uh, it seems like we have a Landers problem uh, so far uh, for the team, um, and Ice Punch should be able to do pretty good against that. So, 
Um, and all right, so let's see here. Uh, rest of the EVs, we can give one. Uh, I'm gonna give 100. Now 56 EVs to equal 140 uh, for speed because I want to be able to outspeed Pokemon that are base. I think what is my Mega Mawile? Mawile is base 50, I think, right? Uh, so yeah, we'll be able to outspeed that. Mega Mawile seems kind of a threat. Uh, so you know, if I keep uh, Conkolder at this speed, for anyone that runs like uh, you know eight or something speed EV, just, uh, I'll be able to outspeed it with my Conkolder, uh, hit him with Drain Punch, and uh, proceed to killing it with you know, some of my other Pokemon. So. Um, Mega Mawile is a pretty underrated threat, so yeah, just making sure I have something for it. But you know, uh, this much speed is not bad. It has really good bulk, uh, really good attack, and you know, HP can be recovered from Drain Punch. So um, yeah, overall Conkolder is really good. Um, so yeah, we got four Pokemon so far all having good synergy with each other. If you get the idea, I mean, team building is pretty much about covering your weaknesses, uh, making sure you have a good type variation, um, that's another thing, and being able to cover threats. I mean, like type weaknesses, type disadvantage, and covering that is just one thing. Um, many of the Pokemon uh, are dual typed or whatever, and you need to make sure you cover threats, and I'll show you a way in which you can uh, check to see what kinds of threats your Pokemon has um, after we build a team. Uh, Alright, so next, uh, we got po we got four Pokemon so far. Uh, they all have good synergy with each other. Uh, a nitpick that I usually do for my teams, uh, which I highly recommend to any team, team builder out there, would be to balance your weaknesses, kind of. I mean, this is what I do. Like, for example, uh, if you have two Pokemon weak to Psychic, uh, which in my case I do, I got um, Mega Venusaur. Oh, we forgot the Venusaur, right? Haha. <laughs> Alright, there we go. You're not gonna make it evolve into a Tyranitar. <laughs> not today. Alright, uh, alright, Venusaur. So, we got Venusaur and Conkler both, which are weak to um, Psychic type moves. What I usually do is I balance out the weaknesses. So, for example, if I have two Pokemon weak to Psychic, um, only one Pokemon that resists it, which is Aegislash, um, I make sure I keep another Pokemon. Uh, that can resist that type just in case I lose my Aegislash somewhere. I don't want to be like weak to one type after I lose a single Pokemon. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to keep another Pokemon that can uh, deal with Psychic type moves. Um, uh, I also need to keep a Defogger for the team. Uh, bulky offense teams sometimes tend to get worn down by hazards. Um, so, uh, therefore, uh, I am going to keep Latias for the team. Latias is my favorite defogger of all time. It can switch in on moves, it has a l hell of a lot of resistances, and uh, yeah, um, it's overall it's a really good Pokemon. So I'm just going to use, um, um, make up some EVs here. Uh, maximum special attack, because uh, it's special attack is really good. Nobody expects it, I mean, well, I guess ever since... I've been using a special attack in Latias and it's been pretty common, so. But I'm gonna change up the EVs from that set. I'm gonna go with um, enough speed. Um, I'm gonna use Timid. Enough speed to outspeed Jolly Garchomp. Uh, with that, I can also outspeed uh, Mega Charizard Y. Um, Bandit or Expert Belt Genesec, for example, also. You can kill off a weakened one of that. But uh, yeah, mainly Garchomp because uh, Stealth Rocks uh, lead Garchomps. I can. Pretty much kill off with Draco Meteor and uh, Defog and stuff like that. So yeah, let's go with Timid leftovers. Uh, leftovers for mainly recovery because um, yeah, I'm not an offensive Latias. I'm a Defogger. I want to make sure that I live. So let's add Defog as our first move because that's what the main deal is. And we're gonna add Draco Meteor, which is also a really good move for Latias. And the next two moves are my personal favorite. I like to use a combination of Surf and Thunderbolt. And I'll explain why. Uh, Thunderbolt hits stuff like Mandibuzz, Azumarill, uh, Gyarados, for example. Uh, while Surf can hit other Pokemon like uh, Heatran, Tyranitar, um, Diggersby, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, uh, that's what I usually, moveset that I usually use, which is um, pretty reliable, in my opinion. And uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty reliable overall. Um, so yeah, uh, finally, uh, okay, we have five Pokemon, um, 
just because you're using a bulky offensive team, don't be scared to that you shouldn't throw in something that's really fast and really powerful. May not be able to take hits well, but you know, just so long as the majority of your team are pretty bulky and capable of taking hits, so like these five Pokemon here, uh, bulky can take hits and do a lot of damage. Uh, your last one can be something a lot faster and stronger. Um, this is actually what I recommend because you know, bulky offensive teams tend to lose to setup supers. Uh, therefore, it is nice to keep some sort of uh, either a strong priority user, or a scarf Pokemon, or something to outspeed uh, fast threats. Um, so yeah, in this case, I will be using uh, Talonflame. I've mentioned Talonflame quite a few times in this video, so let's use it. All right, yeah, uh, it would work well because it has good type synergy with the rest of the team. Um, weaknesses: Water, taken by. Uh, Latias and Venusaur, Electric, taken by um, Rhyperior, Venusaur, Aegislash, Rock type moves, uh, Aegislash, Kongo Lyric. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's pretty good with the team, and it is. It has the ability Gale Wings, uh, which means that, uh, of course, Flying type moves go first. So, yeah, that's gonna work out for us. So let's go with a Choice Banded uh, Talent Flame set. We're going to go max attack, max HP, all the way. Uh, not uh, not going to do any fancy EV spread. Just going to go all straight out attack. And going to give it a Choice Band. And we're going to use, uh, of course, it's two main stab moves, Flare Blitz and Brave Burn. Now, I want the last one to be U-Turn to give us some momentum for the team. Uh... Momentum is always good for any kind of team because, you know, with U-Turn, if your opponent makes a prediction and switches, you use U-Turn, you have the upper hand because you got the switch in next. So, uh, for the last move, um, hmm, I'm going to go with Steel Wing, mainly because, you know, there's either Rotom or a Tyranitar or Rhyperior or something can switch in on this guy, and Steel Wing will do a good amount of damage to either Rhyperior or Tyranitar. Um, we already have enough things for Rotom anyway, so uh, stealing is a good option to have uh, for this Pokemon. So uh, let's add another female for the team. We have uh, yeah, two females. Good enough. <laughs> Too many males. <laughs> All right, that's cool. All right, so um, yeah, um, yeah. So we got Talon Flame. Uh, we got a full team. Um, now what? I'd recommend doing after building the team would be to kind of evaluate your threats. So, what I usually I use a website. Um, this thing, Pokemon uh, usage, usage uh, statistics, which actually tells uh, what Pokemon um, is currently has currently has the most usage in the metagame uh, for X and Y OU. Uh, it goes on like a monthly basis, so uh, it keeps you up to date with the Pokemon that are pretty much considered threats um, and it's really neat too because if you still are having trouble with uh, coming up with, uh, with EVs and stuff for your Pokemon uh, you can like for example Aegislash my favorite you can click on Aegislash um, and it gives you like all the uh, move sets and uh, EVs and stuff and how many people use it and uh, per month and all that kind of stuff which is really neat and really interesting because um, you know I, for the longest time I had trouble coming up with EVs and doing all that kind of stuff so um, this has always been helpful um, but yeah I mean like it, it has like all these Pokemon here of uh, how much usage they have and you know all the types of Pokemon you could possibly see uh, in your everyday X and Y OU battles so uh, yeah I mean it has like other tiers too uh, so if you're a, a player from a different tier this could also be useful, useful for you too so yeah, you know, I just like look at the threats and stuff for the team uh, after you're done building. Uh, see, for example, let's uh, go over Rotom, uh, Rotom, Aegislash, Talonflame, Genesec. Let's just look at the, those four. Rotom, as we said, uh, dealt with um, uh, Venusaur, Latias can deal with them, even Conkleder. Uh, Aegislash, um, Conkleder can definitely deal with the uh, with an Aegislash uh, with knockoff. Talonflame can also even. At minus two, flare flare blitz will do. I, maybe it will do a lot. I don't know. Possibly, Rhyperior can take a hit and uh, one KO with earthquake, which is really good. Um, so you know, uh, 
Then what what else? Uh, what was the other one? Uh, Talonflame and Genesect. Uh, Talonflame, we got Rhyperior, of course. Genesect, uh, we got Conkleder can definitely take care of Genesect. Talonflame, sure. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, Genesect gets uh, one-shotted uh, after a Stealth Rocks, uh, with, if you use Brave Bird, so. Yeah, you know, uh, so that's the team. Uh, hope you guys like this uh, team building session. Um, actually, it's not over yet. I'm going to be um, doing a battle. Uh, with the team, maybe to show it off a little bit. I uh, think that might be helpful if uh, I do, you know, an explanation of the team building process, as well as include a battle uh, or two, so that you know you can see how the team is being used. But you know, overall, you know, what I usually recommend is when you're team building, just keep keep a note of uh, what types you're weak against, what types you need to cover. Um, in keep including Pokemon that can cover those types, uh, have good synergy with each other. Uh, keep an eye out for threats. Um, as I said, you can use that list that I showed, uh, that thing. You can uh, pause it on the uh, where I showed the website so you can copy it and whatever. But uh, yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, stay tuned because I'm about to uh, go on the server right now and find a battle. Um, after this brief pause. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Uh, see you in a few secs. Seconds. Secs. <laughs> Alright, cool. So uh, now we're on the Pokemon Online Simulator. And it's time for the fun part, which is the testing. So after you build a team, it's always important to test it. Uh, just because uh, with that, if you don't test, you will really never get a feel for the team. Uh, you if always if you play around with the team, if you uh, practice with it, test with it, you'll be able to find out what threats you have, um, what the team can and can't handle, if you like it or not. Um, I mean, things may look good. Uh, I mean, teams may look good on paper, but it's actually when you use them is when you find out um, if they're good or not. So, uh, yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be uh, doing maybe one or two battles, uh, depending on uh, how we do. So. Uh, I'll be using an account of mine, an older one, uh, that I used for one of my other PO lives. So, uh, yeah, uh, we are 1331 right now. Uh, probably DK, I have no idea, but I don't think I've used it in a while, so, um, yeah, let's find a battle. Uh, I'll set my variation to uh, 200, maybe. Uh, and let's, uh, let's get right into it. Alright, cool, so we got this guy uh, to Dusk or something. Uh, Alright, cool. So, uh, looking, at the, looking at the team right now, um, his team looks very offensive, uh, for a fact. I'm pretty sure, it's, yeah, it's, it's a pretty offensive looking team. So, like I said earlier in the video, that a lot of uh, teams nowadays on the ladder are pretty offensive. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, what we're going to do is we're going to lead off with our, um, we're going to lead off with our uh, Conkleder. Just because most of the team, uh, most of his team, uh, will fall to Conkleder. Uh, we can go right for a knockoff right here. Uh, maybe. I think I'm gonna go for an ice punch actually, just in case if we sub or subs into sables or whatever, and then I can have access to the knockoff. So I'm gonna go right for the ice punch. Uh, hopefully doing a good amount of damage to whatever switches in maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But like I said, Conkleder is a very bulky Pokemon and it has a very good attack stat, so that should be very good. Ah, he's got hypnosis. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here now. So, uh, let's go into uh, Aegislash. He goes for the Air Slash. Um, all right, right now I'm gonna go for a Shadow Ball. Maybe. Um, yeah, I'm going for Shadow Ball. He goes for a Thunder Wave. Uh, I'm guessing he's gonna Roost now. I'm gonna go right for the Flash Cannon and take him out. Uh, let's copy the team real quick. Uh, he sends out his Raikou, and Raikou is a pretty good, uh, pretty big threat. Um, not really, I have Raikou. Uh, so yeah, we can uh, go for an Earthquake right here. Hidden Power will do pretty much, not even that much, because um, uh, we we put a lot of special defense EVs into the into this Raikou, so it's pretty bulky. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go for a Rock Blast, predicting uh, Gengar, and that's exactly what I do. And now. Um, hmm, I don't want to stay in, uh, just because I need a uh, Rhyperior for a, a Raikou. So, 
probably gonna go into uh, hmm. He's gonna go for the Focus Blast, probably. I mean, I could take a hit, so I'm just gonna go for it. Or for the Shadow Ball. Pretty easy hit to take. But uh, yeah, now he's gonna send in his uh, Greninja, and I can easily just go into Conkler and take a hit. Um, Alright, now I, he's probably gonna go for his Surf or something. Uh, let's go into Venusaur. Or Hydro Pump, and he gets a crit, so whatever. And now we can Mega Evolve. We now are gonna take neutral damage from the Ice Beam. So I'm just gonna go for a Synthesis. And restore HP. And I can pretty much just um, keep this up and wear him down with Life Orb, except he flinched me, so that's not gonna work out at all. Um, hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, we don't really need it anyway, so whatever. And yeah, let's go into a talent flame. Just uh, hit him up with a Brave Bird and take him out. Choice Band of Brave Bird is pretty good, so. Uh, and he doesn't have much to take it, anyways. Um, but yeah, let's go into Latias. Take the Flare Blitz, which is great. Uh, and we can hit him back with a Surf. Um, he goes into his Raikou. We can go into Rhyperior. He goes for the Calm Mind, but that's still not going to take us out. Um, and yeah, that's down. And you got Lucario. Um, hmm. Let's go, go for an earthquake again. Not really worth uh, switching out or anything. Um, and I'm surprised. Hey, why didn't he Mega Evolve? I, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's go into Talent Flame. Go with for a. Oh, we're faster. I'm pretty sure. So we can just go for Flare Blitz. But he has Arcanine. So Brave Bird. When he has Focus Sash, what? What? And wow, what a horrible play. Wait, no. Oh, he went first somehow. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go for a Shadow Sneak. Uh, I would have thought Brave Bird went first. Maybe Extreme Speed has more priority over Brave Bird, I think. Yeah, probably. Uh, anyways, we'll go into Latias. He goes for the Flare Blitz. And we can take him take him out with a surf. Except he gets a crit on extreme speed. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's horrible. Uh, I guess the best thing to do is wear him off with his life orb. Oh, but we woke up, so. Not even bad. And we win this battle. So that's great. Uh, team's doing good so far, besides that uh little bit of hacks that we got, but you know, it's it's all good. Um, let's get another battle. Uh, Imperial Tony Blaze. Alright, cool, cool. Um, Alright, so, uh, his team looks very semi stall oriented. It's got some bulky offensive mons and a bunch of the wall or two, but, uh, yeah, overall, it, uh, we could probably, um, use knockoff on Conkolder to our advantage, so, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's try it out and see what happens. So, I'm gonna be leading off with, uh, Latias, actually. Uh, I knew he'd be leading off with Rotom, but I can go right now for a Thunderbolt. Uh, Willow is missed. Now I'm gonna go for a Draco Meteor. Um, which missed? Okay, wow. Uh, okay, so now we can just hit him up with a Surf. That didn't do anything. Is he especially defensive? <laughs> wow, he must be. Like, literally, from that damage, that's definitely some specially defensive uh, set. Hmm. Uh, let's go into Venusaur. We went for the knockoff, but now we can Mega Evolve. Let's copy the team actually real quick. I always forget to do that, but you know, it doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, now we can go for uh, um, I'm gonna go for a Sleep Powder actually. And that missed too. So uh, hmm, let's go into Conkler now, and we can go for a knockoff. Uh, Should have gone for the Ice Punch. I, I saw him so. Um, hmm. Alright, uh, yeah, we can go into Aegislash here. He went for the Leech Seed. Uh, and let's go into Talonflame. And now we can go for a U turn because I'm sure he's not gonna stay in. He goes into his, uh, Rotom. And we can go into our, uh, Venusaur. And hit him up with a nice Giga Drain.
and he goes into his Chansey, and we can we can go for a um, sleep powder here. <sighs> um, okay, fine, fine, fine. Um, let's go to Talon Flame, and let's go for the Brave Bird here. He goes into his Heatran. We just gotta keep wearing down his team, and it should be fine. Um, Okay, uh, let's go under that, yes. And we're gonna go for a uh, defog, I believe. Get rid of his hazards, and we can switch into Conkler. Uh, take a Shadow Ball. Mm, Life Orb is a problem. Hmm. Maybe I should have EV'd it differently, I don't know. Um. Oh, but we get a crit, which is, uh, perfect. And we can take him out. <laughs> that sucks, man. That sucks for you. Uh, alright, cool. Um, let's go into our, uh, Siege. He's got Earthquake, so that's not gonna be fun. Uh, let's go into Venusaur. Um, and now... We could. I uh, do. I don't think. Maybe he has synthesis. Uh, let's go for a sludge bomb. So we're faster, it seems. So uh, let's go to Aegis Slash here. Hopefully he doesn't predict that. Uh, maybe he did. Um, okay, let's go into our. Uh, let's go to our Latias actually. He goes for the lava plume, and. We can just go for a surf. Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Um, I kinda wanna predict that he's gonna go back into Venusaur or something. Uh, let's do that. Or not. Um, let's go for a U turn. And go for a Defog. And we can now go for a surf. And he finishes up, finishes us off with a um, uh, lava plume. Uh, and now we could. Uh, what is it? How much? How, what percent is this Rotom at? It's uh, 59 percent. All right. Um, hmm. I want to say we can go into uh, right period, and then we can hit him up with a rock blast, perhaps. Uh, I thought he was going to go into his Rotom, which he did. And now we can go into our um, Venusaur. And let's uh, let's go for another Synthesis here. And let's try and uh, see if we can kill this thing. I'm sure he has Synthesis though, which is going to suck. But, alright, let's go for Sleep Powder. He's not faster, I don't think. Ah, he was. And we actually hit a sleep powder, which is great. And he probably has heal bell or something, which is gonna suck, but oh well. Um, he has wish, okay. Uh, what is he gonna go into? Let's find out. Um, his Mega Venus was at 51%, so uh, let's go for an, let's go for an ice punch. Uh, okay, that's fine. Um, and we can go back into Venusaur, maybe. No, let's go into Aegislash actually. Because he's gonna he's gonna probably go for a sludge bomb, and now we can go into Talon Flame. He goes for that Leech Seed, and um, he's probably gonna go into Heatran or Rotom. That's fine, uh, and we can go into our um, probably our Aegis Slash, and go for a Shadow Ball, which will be nice. Take him out. Uh, I had a feeling he'd do that. Um, hmm. I'm thinking he might predict that. Predict, um, hmm. He might go for a sludge bomb right here, actually. I'll go into Venusaur to play it safe. Uh, he went for a leech seed. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's go for a sludge bomb here. And. 
And yeah, I don't think he has synthesis. Doesn't seem like that at the moment. Uh, but in any case, we'll go for our, our own synthesis. And we'll go right into Talonflame, actually. And let's go for a Brave Bird. And we can take this out pretty well. Um, yeah, so we got rid of Donphan. Uh, it's another Pokemon gone. And um, yeah, he went into his Chansey. Uh, hmm. I kind of don't want to leave this thing in here. I, maybe I should. Maybe I don't know because I have no other way to beat Mega Venusaur. So um, let's go into Conkleder. He goes for the Wish, um, and we can go double switch into Talonflame again. Ah, uh, he probably knew that. Let's go back into Conk. Or, no, let's go for a U-turn, actually. Get some momentum. Uh, go in here. Uh, um, okay, let's see. Alright, we got back up there. And, uh, yeah, now we can send out our, uh, Venusaur. And go for a Sludge Bomb, I believe. And get back, uh, Conkleder here. And go for a Drain Punch. And just keep trying to get Conkleder's HP back up there, so, uh, we'll be fine. Uh, sludge, piece, sludge Bomb's gonna wear out soon, I'm sure. Uh, I don't wanna go for Synthesis, not yet. Um, go into Aegis Slash. Ah, he predicted that, not bad, not bad. And, hmm. Probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, yeah, and now let's uh, go for another Sludge Bomb. Ah, we got him there, alright, not bad. Uh, all right, let's go into Talonflame here. Uh, force him to protect. Um, I'm sure we could take him out with the Brave Bird. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm sure we could take him out. But he goes back into his heat train. Uh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, why don't we just take him out? How about that? Take out this guy. Venusaur is going to be a problem though, but uh, as I think he does not have uh, synthesis. I don't think he has synthesis, so. Uh, yeah, now we can go into our Conkleder. He goes for the Wish. Um, we go for another Drain Punch. Alright, so we got rid of his Heat Tram. Uh, just keep getting back our health for Conkleder, and now we can go into Venusaur again. He goes for that Sludge Bomb, we can go for a Synthesis. Perfect, perfect. He's probably going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, I'm fearing that he's going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. Uh, to try and wear down this Venusaur, because Venusaur, uh, I don't think he can beat, so... Um, but we can get rid of his Rotom. Oh, he goes for a Volt Switch? Okay. That's fine. Um, all right, cool. So we take, uh, we can put this this thing to sleep, actually. Um, all right, and let's predict that he's gonna go into his rotom, or not. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Sleep powder missed. Uh, go for another sleep powder. Yeah, that failed. Alright. Uh, and now we can go into Aegislash. And he predicted that pretty well. And let's go into this thing now, and let's go for a U-turn. Go into Conkleder. And let's predict the switch back into, um... Venusaur. Perfect. And let's go for a Braver here. Do a good chunk of damage, and, um, hmm, okay, yeah, let's go into the Conkleder right here, 
uh, go for an Ice Punch and go into Venusaur. I don't want that Chansey to get healed up again, otherwise it's going to be game, I think. Uh, let's go for a Sludge Bomb. Um, okay. I'm probably going to predict right here and go for another Sludge Bomb. Okay, okay. Let's go for another one. We took him out. Now, I gotta make sure that... Um, okay, okay, let's see. Let's go for another one. Yeah, I think we have this. We have this battle, I think. Uh, Mac Punch should KO. Yep, and yeah, we have the match. So, uh, good game, uh, Tony Blaze. So yeah, it was, overall it was a longer battle, but, you know, it was against, uh, probably a better player than the last person, so, um, yeah, the team's doing really well. Uh, overall, um, the team has a good synergy, uh, has a good type variation, um, it covers pretty much most of the threats that I could possibly see maybe uh, if there are any others you could uh, mention it in the comments or something I don't know but I mean you know I just built this from just right now uh, and I never really planned <laughs> I made a plan or anything of what I'm gonna say for this video but uh, you know uh, overall it's been a pretty good team building uh, session experience in my opinion but I hope you all liked it and um, yeah, just let me know if you guys like this or not, and if I should do more or anything like that. I have more ideas for, I mean, different playstyles and uh, strategies and stuff for different kinds of teams, but yeah, if this is something you want to see, just let me know, and um, yeah, then just look uh, forward to seeing more of these in the future. But um, if you have any questions about team building or anything, uh, feel free to let me know, and I will definitely, definitely be help, uh, try to help you out. But um, hope you like the team. I will include an importable of the team uh, in the description uh, for anyone that wants to try it out. So yeah, I, this has been pretty uh, pretty efficient overall. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So have a good one, guys, and uh, later.